Hello, and welcome to the public hearing for the State Road 500 South Pine Avenue intersection improvement projects at the intersection of State Road 500 at State Road 464 and the intersection of State Road 500 at State Road 40 in Ocala. This public hearing is being held in accordance with Section 339.155 Florida Statutes, Section 339.199 Florida Statutes, and Section 120. 525 Florida Statutes. This public hearing was advertised consistent with the federal and state requirements and is being conducted consistent with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. The hearing is being held to give all interested persons the right to understand the project and comment on their concerns to the department. Public participation at this hearing is encouraged and solicited without regard to race, color, religion, sex, age, national origin, disability, or family status. The purpose of this public hearing is to share information about the State Road 500 project improvements. The public hearing also serves as an official forum to give you the opportunity to express your opinions and concerns about this project. Official transcript is being made of all verbal comments made and will become part of the public record for these projects. The State Road 500 at State Road 464 intersection improvement project runs along State Road 500 beginning at Southwest 2nd Avenue and ending 200 feet north of Southwest 16th Street for a distance of 1,785 feet. The improvements on State Road 464 begin at the intersection of State Road 500 and continue eastward to Southwest 2nd Avenue for a distance of 488 feet. In all, the net length of the improvements are 0.43 miles. The existing conditions along State Road 500 consist of three through lanes in both the northbound and the southbound directions. There is an existing northbound left turn onto State Road 464 West and a southbound left turn onto State Road 464 East. The center lane is a bidirectional left turn lane throughout the corridor. On State Road 464, there are two through lanes in the east-west direction. There is a westbound left turn lane onto State Road 500 South and a eastbound left turn lane onto State Road 500 North. The center turn lane is typically a bidirectional left turn lane. All the driveways within the project limits currently accommodate all turning movements in and out of the property, with exception of the following locations indicated by the red arrows. These locations are currently limited to right-in and right-out movements only. During the analysis stage, six alternatives were considered. The study criteria focused on reducing delay, time spent at the intersection, increasing capacity, moving more vehicles through the intersection, and minimizing property acquisition. The result of the study warranted advancement of two of the alternatives, numbers 5 and 6, by developing alignment concepts to further assess the impacts and the cost. The first of those alternatives considered was Alternate 5, which exhibits the following characteristics. Maintain three northbound through lanes. Maintain three southbound approach lanes, two through lanes, and one exclusive right turn lane. Construct dual northbound left turn lanes and extend the southbound left turn lane. Construct a westbound right turn lane onto State Road 500. Extend a westbound left turn lane on State Road 464. Three properties are impacted for a total area of 1,348 square feet. They are as follows. The existing driveways with restricted access shown in red remain unchanged. The following driveways shown in orange will have restricted left turn access due to the proposed improvements. Alternative number six includes the following items. Maintain three northbound through lanes. Maintain three southbound through lanes. Construct dual northbound left turn lane construct a westbound right turn lane onto State Road 500, extend the westbound left turn lane on State Road 464. The existing driveways with restricted access, shown in red, will remain unchanged. The following driveways, shown in orange, will have restricted left turn access due to the proposed improvements. Minor strip taking would be required for 12 properties, as indicated by the red lines, for a total area of 7,731 square feet. Alternative 5 achieves similar traffic operational benefits as those obtained from Alternative 6 with a lower cost and reduced right-of-way and business impacts. 
Alternative 5 offers improved traffic operating conditions over the no-build condition and will improve the AM operation from a level of service E to a level of service D. In conclusion, it is recommended to select Alternative 5 improvements. The design phase of the project will be completed in July of 2016. The department will then begin the right-of-way acquisition phase and determine at a later date the estimated construction time. The current construction cost estimate for the project is $1.6 million and requiring approximately $325,000 in right-of-way. For additional project information, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is maintained by Florida Department of Transportation to keep the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You're encouraged to visit this webpage, which contains easily accessible information to stay current on the status of this project. The State Road 500 State Road 40 intersection improvement project runs along State Road 500, beginning 130 feet south of Southwest 3rd Avenue and ending 180 feet north of Northwest 2nd Street for a distance of 1,785 feet. In all, the net length of improvements is 0.33 miles. Existing State Road 500 consists of three through lanes in both the northbound and southbound directions at State Road 40 and two lanes in both the northbound and southbound directions at Northwest 2nd Street. There are existing northbound and southbound left turns onto State Road 40. The center lane is a bidirectional left turn lane throughout the corridor. There is also a northbound and southbound left turn lane onto Northwest 2nd Street. The far right northbound lane approaching Northwest 2nd Street terminates as an exclusive right turn lane. On State Road 40, there are two through lanes in the eastbound and westbound directions westbound dual left turn and eastbound left turn onto State Road 500. Most driveway and street access along the corridor has restricted turn movements as shown by the red arrows due to existing traffic separator and mid-block crossings. During the analysis stage, four alternatives were considered. The study criteria focused on reducing delay, the time spent at the intersection, increasing capacity, moving more vehicles through the intersection, and minimizing property acquisition. The result of the study warranted advancement of three of the alternatives, numbers 1, 2A, and 2B, by developing alignment concepts to further assess the impacts and cost. The first of those alternatives considered was Alternate 1, which exhibits the following characteristics. Balance the widen equally on the east and west side of the corridor and maintain three through lanes. Construct dual northbound turn lanes at State Road 40. Extend left turn lanes between State Road 40 and Northwest 2nd Street by eliminating the center turn lane and providing a traffic separator to eliminate left turning vehicles. The existing driveways with restricted access, shown in red, remain unchanged. The only change in access is at Northwest 1st Street and the corner of State Road 500. Nine properties are impacted, as indicated by the red lines, for a total area of 4,365 square feet. The improvements for alternative number 2A consist of the following. Transitioning from three northbound through lanes to two northbound through lanes at Southwest 2nd Street and maintain two northbound lanes to Northwest 2nd Street. Maintaining three southbound through lanes throughout the project limits. Construct a dual northbound left turn lane at State Road 40. Construct a new northbound right turn lane at State Road 40. Extend the left turn lanes between State Road 40 and Northwest 2nd Street by eliminating the center turn lane and providing a traffic separator to eliminate left turning vehicles. The existing right turn lane at Northwest 2nd will be maintained. The existing driveways with restricted access, shown in red, remain unchanged. New left turn restrictions will be in place at Northwest 1st Street in the corner of State Road 500. Five properties will be impacted, as indicated by the red lines, for a total area of 3,324 square feet. The improvements for Alternative 2B are identical to Alternative 2A, with the exception that the far right northbound lane approaching Northwest 2nd Street becomes a shared through right lane. There is also increased left turn storage for the southbound left onto State Road 40 and the northbound left onto the Northwest 2nd Street. The existing driveways with restricted access, shown in red, remain unchanged, while the same new left turn restrictions apply at Northwest 1st Street and State Road 500. 
the same five properties would be impacted as indicated by the red lines for a total area of 3,324 square feet. Alternatives 1, 2A, and 2B provide incremental improvements measured in terms of lower average overall intersection delay over the no-build condition. All three alternatives provide much needed additional two-lane left turn capacity to the northbound approach to reduce, if not eliminate, queue spillover in the adjacent through lane. Alternative 2B also provides additional queuing capacity to the high volume southbound left turn movement. In view of the reduced overall delay, ability to accommodate queuing on critical movements and lower construction cost, Alternative 2B is preferred over the no build and other build alternatives. The design phase of the project will be completed in July of 2016. The department will then begin the right-of-way acquisition phase and determine at a later date the estimated construction time. The current construction cost estimate for the project is $1.3 million and approximately $727,000 in right-of-way. For additional project information, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is maintained by Florida Department of Transportation to keep the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You're encouraged to visit this webpage, which contains easily accessible information to stay current on the status of this project. If you want to make a statement regarding the design or effects of the improvements, you will have the opportunity to do so. Please fill out a speaker's card and hand it to the meeting staff. If you would rather provide a written statement than speak at the microphone, you may give this statement to the court reporter or fill out a comment form. All written material received at this public hearing and or the Florida Department of Transportation, District 5 office, located at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, postmark no later than 10 days following the date of this public hearing, will become a part of the public record for this hearing. All written comments should be addressed to Todd Alexander. Comments may also be emailed to todd.alexander at dot.state.fl.us. The verbatim transcript of the hearing's oral proceedings, together with all written material received as a part of the hearing record and all studies, displays, and information material provided at the hearing will be made part of the project decision-making process and will be available at the district office for public view upon request. Thank you for attending. This concludes the presentation of the State Road 500 Intersection Improvement Projects. If you need any additional information, please contact either Todd Alexander or Mark Bertensini at the information below.